Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get your very own online order page up and running in about five to 10 minutes. This way you can start your free 14 day trial to make sure it works best for your particular needs. Let's suppose you have your Clover POS and you already have your inventory already added and you want to showcase that inventory on an online order page and you want your customers to order online and have those orders printed to your Clover POS and you're looking for a good solution to do that. Well, I recommend trying Smart Online Order because what it does, it takes your inventory from your Clover, makes for you an online order page like this example here. It takes your categories, it takes your items and showcases for your customers in a friendly format. This way they can order from their phone, from their computer, from their laptops, from their different devices, and have those orders print to your Clover POS. So the nice thing about having integration with Clover is everything is done seamlessly through your Clover. So you don't have to check a third-party kitchen printer, a third-party tablet. Everything is sent directly to your Clover. It prints, it shows who ordered, what time they're coming, and additional information that you need to prepare the order. So let's suppose that you already have a website like this and it's ready to go but one thing you're missing is an order online button and you want to add that capability well it's very easy to do that once the order online page is created for you you just link it to your website let's suppose you don't have a website let's suppose you have a facebook page and you want to add order online well the same rule applies you take the order online link and you can add it to your Facebook page or you can link to your website and from your, from your website, they can go to the order online page. Let's suppose you have a Yelp page and you want to link your Yelp page to the order online. Well, you can do the same thing. On your Yelp page, there's a section where you can add your website name. In this case, if you don't have a website, you can add your URL for the order online page. So for example, when you log into Yelp, it says add your web address. So you can put your order online link right here okay that's one option uh, the other option like i mentioned is to link it to your main main website which in this example is you can add a button here order online on your main website and have it go directly to the order online page whether you are selling milk tea pizza pasta appetizers chicken fruit tea you want to include descriptions you want to not include descriptions you want to include images whether you want to include category images whether you are selling french fries wings or different type of restaurant menu the smart online order page is highly customizable because as you can see from these examples you can have it look like this you can have it look like this now I'm going to show you how you can get started to install the app and try it for yourself. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Clover.com from your laptop computer and log into Clover.com. I'm pretty sure you're already there watching this video. So the next thing you do is choose your location. Make sure you choose the correct location. It's very important to you, that you choose the correct location. Let's suppose you want to install it for a specific location and then add the remaining locations later. Make sure to choose that location first. Let's suppose I want to install it to John's Coffee out of my five or six locations. I want to install it here. I click on that. And next thing I do is I press more tools right here. And then you find a smart online order. And then once you find smart online order, you click on it and then press the connect button right here. Once you press the connect button, press download install. Once you install it, you open the app, choose your subscription pricing to get going to the next step. Once you do that, you'll be taken to this page here. This page will walk you through the remaining steps so that way you can have your order online page up and running. So in this example, it's asking me a few questions. If you're familiar with WordPress and you can do it yourself, you feel confident, or you have a web developer, choose this option. But the majority of people watching this video they may not have a web developer. They may want to do it themselves with our custom easy one-click setup. Then choose this option, which is option three. Let's suppose you do have WordPress, but you don't want to use your WordPress. You still want to link to it. Then choose this option right here. 
Okay, so again, choose this option if you're unsure of what to choose. If you are sure of what to choose, then choose the other options. If you need a complete website, then choose this one. Choose this one, but call us afterwards. In this example, I'm going to do this one because most merchants use this option right here, which is option three. Click on it and then press next. From here, put your domain name. Make sure not to include www or .com or any spaces. So let's say your business is called John's Coffee. Just put John's Coffee. Nothing else, okay? Just John's Coffee. Don't put space. Don't put www. W, and then just press enter. If you have multiple locations with John's Coffee, then do it this way. So you're going to put John's Coffee Portland. Let's say one of your locations is in Portland. You'll put John's Coffee Portland. Let's suppose you have your fourth location in Main Street. You can say John's Coffee Main Street. Okay. In other words, each time you install the Smart Online Order app from your computer, you're going to put a different name here that pertains to that specific location. So in this case, I'm doing Main Street. I did Portland. Let's say your fifth location is in downtown just put john's coffee downtown just like that once you press enter you will be taken to the form fill out this form all of it uh including uh, your email and your contact information and then your username and password this way you can log in to your order online page and it's very very important uh, to upload your logo because it'll make your online ordering page look much nicer and upload a picture of a food or an item that showcases on the very top. Okay, so make sure to do these steps. If you don't know where your logo is, just go to your main website, go to your Facebook page, go to your Yelp page, and get your logo. So, for example, let's suppose this is my main website. Just go there, right-click on your logo, and press Save Image As, and then you can upload it afterwards. Let's say you don't have a picture of a food. You go to your website, and you have pictures, but you can't save it for some reason. If you can't do that, do what you would do is you would try to look for it, look for it in your computer, on your desktop, in your document folder, on your downloads folder. If you still can't find it, my recommendation is to go to Google, type in Unsplash right here, Unsplash. This website here offers images that are not copyright protected. In other words, the license here, if you look at it, it tells you all photos published on Unsplash can be used for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. So that way, in other words, you can use these pictures. So let's say you are selling coffee and you don't have a picture of a coffee. You can come over here, type it, and then download the image and use that image as your optional header. So let's suppose I like this picture here. Okay, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to press download and then it'll, it'll be saved to my desktop or my downloads folder. But my recommendation is when you do come here, uh, do it this way. I'm going to actually choose a different picture here. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose this one here. Let me, let me find something brighter. Um, okay, this is fine. I'm going to choose this one. Click on it. And then when you click on it, press download for free right here and then choose medium. Okay, so choose medium. And then this medium quality works just fine. So I downloaded it. Now I'm going to go back to the order online page. And then I'm going to use this example for my logo. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Your logo will differ than mine. So, but I'm going to use this one. I'll just call it rabbit logo. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload those things. Press this button here to upload it. I uploaded my logo and my optional header image. The reason why we went with medium image size is because the maximum is 8 megabytes. So going with medium is the best solution. Um, but I don't think you should worry about that. Most images are less than 8 megabytes. And then once you do all that, press submit. Oh yeah, make sure your passwords match. In this case, my passwords did not match. So make sure your passwords match. Once you match your passwords, press submit. And remember, this part can take up to 60 seconds, so be patient while this is processing because it's taking your Clover inventory and making an online order page for you. And once that's done, you will see a message that will pop up. Okay? 
you'll be given this page and from here it's telling you congratulations your order online page is ready make sure to watch this video right here it's very important that you watch this video so you would go ahead and click on the order online page so you can see what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and click on it and you'll notice that your order online page will start loading for you for the first time you may be wondering where all this stuff come from this stuff came from your clover inventory app okay so in other words in my inventory app if i go here you will notice that your inventory has these categories here see how we took all these categories and what it did was it made me an order online page okay and you're probably wondering where this image came from this image came from here remember earlier i downloaded this image it took that image and made it into a header image and you may be wondering where did the logo come from the logo right here as you may recall i took it from here i downloaded it here but your logo and your header image will differ than what i used uh, so you can use any logo or any header image but the point is that you'll have an order online page ready so this way you can start getting online orders okay so the next thing to do is to make sure to watch this video here this video is very important to watch and then make sure to click on this link here to set up your auto printing this link was was also emailed to you in case you may lose it or may not remember it this is where it will answer most of your questions or or probably all of your questions in case you're asking how to do different things like how to hide items how to hide categories how you don't want to show all, all of your menu this will walk you through the steps of all of that but make sure to watch the videos that was emailed to you and also on the congratulations page a few questions that typically comes up after the order online page is created is how do i hide specific categories how do i hide specific items how do i reorder my items how do i enable tips how do i add delivery zones how do i add pictures how do i add pictures for categories how do i add descriptions to categories these are all good questions and these are all common questions while while the order online page is ready to go right now just the way it is you can enhance it you can add many different things to it you can change the colors you can add pictures um, you can choose different layouts we have six of them you can choose different interfaces from the back end and to do this just check your email the email contains the instructions on how to do these changes um, so once you install the app you get an email on how to make the changes also the instructions were also on the congratulations page uh, but if you already closed that link uh, you can find it in your email and we also have a documentation center docs.smartonlineorder.com this was also emailed to you after you watch the videos this also is very helpful in case you may have forgot how to do changes let's suppose you forgot how to hide a category just type in the word hide once you click on hide a category it will tell you how to hide a category you can do the same thing for hide an item in other words it's a very quick way of getting answers to your questions if you need a sudden or a quick answer it will give you that ability to search for it we also have tutorial videos on youtube just search for smart online order on youtube and there's plenty of videos that will guide you step by step on how to link it to your wix website to your squarespace website how to enable special instructions how to hide special instructions how to do many different changes these are all there for you to use now that you have a better idea of how smart online order works if you haven't already done so my recommendation is to try it for yourself try it for the free trial that we offer that way you can see your own inventory on the order online page that way you can see your own logo your own header image uh, you can see your own images um, you can get that started by pressing connect once you press connect follow the steps that was mentioned in the video and you'll be able to have your own order online page with your own inventory that way you can experience it for yourself to make sure it works best for your needs all right thank you so much have a great day